Welcome to the Community Shield Highlight Show. Coming up, the best of the action from Wembley as treble winners Manchester City took on Premier League runners-up Arsenal. This was only the third time these sides had met in this fixture. The last encounter back in 2014 ended in a 3-0 win for the Gunners. Nine years on, Mikel Arteta's side were seeking to exact revenge on a City team that pipped them to the title in the last campaign. Commentary at Wembley comes from Stuart Robson and Gary Taphouse. Let's start with a look at the teams for you, beginning with the Gunners. Mikel Arteta is without two former Manchester City players. Striker Gabriel Jesus has a knee injury and Alexander Zinchenko a calf problem. That means that debutant Kai Havertz will play up top, as he did so often for Chelsea. Five changes in all to the side that played against Monaco on Wednesday. Bukayo Saka is back from illness and there are starts for Gabriel and Martin Odegaard. Guard. Another new signing, Jurian Timber, starts at left back. Kevin De Bruyne is only on the city bench as he continues to regain full fitness. You may remember he was forced off in the first half of May's Champions League final with a hamstring injury. Just two changes to the 11 that lost to Atletico last Sunday. New signing Matteo Kovacic replaces Phil Foden and Manuel Akanji comes in for Eimerick Laporte. Last season's top scorer Erling Haaland scored in both league games against the Gunners last campaign but he's never netted here at Wembley the top two from last season's Premier League going head-to-head -head. what better way to kick off the new campaign even though the Gunners ran City close the fact is that City have won each of the last eight meetings with Arsenal and there's that familiar sort of ball we've seen from Rodri so many times. Akanji advancing down that left side. Oh, it was a great ball in as well. Haaland was waiting. Grealish waiting on the far post there. Hooked away by Bukaya Saka. Bit of early joy down that left side for City. Ball coming into the box. Oh, it's a good defensive header by Ben White. Covered by Saliba, but uh, Haaland will keep it going. And uh, Rodri will let fly. Got a nick on its way through for a corner. Good play again by City, winning the ball back. Rodri actually strikes Declan Rice. That's why it's a corner. Declan Rice getting some sort of blocking. Didn't look as though Ramsdale was beaten, had that been on target. Stones. Oh, a tackle was from Kai Havertz to win it back for Arsenal. And then he's been pulled back. Free kick to the Gunners. And Arsenal fans want a yellow card here. And it could easily have been a yellow card for Rodri. Tug of the shirt. He's got away with that one. Oh, and Kai Havertz. I think Stuart Atwell is just going to have a word with... Mikel Arteta by the looks of it. Not to say the discipline of Mikel Arteta last season, and where he stood in the dugout, wasn't good enough, and he gets a yellow card. But we know they're clamping down on a lot of this descent from the technical area this season. And there's an early warning for Arteta, who is demanding a yellow card. He's got one himself. Well, we talked about clamping down, and uh, Howard Webb very much at the forefront of that, in charge of the referees in England now. Here's Declan Rice, Arsenal's record signing. A little bit of Arsenal possession here, much welcomed by their supporters. And could they be in here? Arsenal, a chance maybe for Havertz! And Martinelli! A really good block and a good save as well. Clearest opportunities of the Shield so far. And it's good play from Ben White. Takes his touch inside the Kanji. Finds Havertz. It's a good save. The first one. Oh, where does it hit John Stones? Ben White. Good charge forward. Just have a look here. It certainly hits him on his chest. 
The first bit of real penetrative play from either side. It's Arsenal had hardly any of the ball that create the first chance, a double chance. They certainly give Arsenal encouragement to keep pressing. Ten minutes left in this first half. And for all City's possession, Arsenal have been the more threatening of the two sides. Here goes Saka, beautifully found. And Saka goes for it. Yeah, playing right on that offside line as the ball's played in behind Akanji. He was always stretching for that. He wasn't in complete control. Arsenal probing in the, the same way that City were earlier. Havertz. Breaks for Martinelli. Deft touch that was. Rice. Forward by White to Saka. Odegaard, White. Now try again. Gabriel. Odegaard. Great ball, Saka. Havertz! Brilliant stop from Ortega. Clearest chance of the game. And at the other end, Haaland against Saliba. Support finally arriving. Here's the chance again. Lovely ball played down the side. Havertz with his right foot. I wonder if Diaz gets a slight block on it, which makes it easier for the goalkeeper. Ortega, who played every game in that FA Cup run for City last season. Played three times in the Premier League as well. Oh, Rodri is trying to catch Ramsdale off his line. An audacious effort. A very good effort as well. Ramsdale on the edge of his box. Fortunately, he was concentrated. Just, just a bit too high from Rodri, but a good effort. Martinelli under pressure. This is dangerous. Alvarez with the ball across. Haaland was lurking on that far post. Well, that sums things up a little bit for City in this first half. Lots of good possession. Very little in the way of cutting edge. Yeah, Martinelli got caught on the ball here. Well, the first half destined to be a stalemate. Arsenal will be frustrated about that because they had several clear opportunities. Kai Havertz with two of them twice denied by City's German goalkeeper, Stefan Ortega. Alvarez at the other end has certainly had his moments. Haaland not yet got into the game at all. And it's Arsenal who've been the bigger threat. Half-time at Wembley, Arsenal nil. Manchester City nil. So it's Manchester City who get the ball rolling in the second half. No changes at the break. The coaches can make up to six changes in the Community Shield, which has its own little quirks. Rodri, Kovacic finding uh, Alvarez, Bernardo Silva, Walker, you can see Haaland near the penalty spot, his eyes are lit up there but the cross never reached it. Yeah, it was a good bit of movement from Haaland in the box as you would expect, the Arsenal players were going back towards their own goal and he just held his ground, Walker just couldn't quite find him.
So the first corner of the second half goes the way of the Premier League champions. And it's a really good save from Ramsdale. It was straight at him, but he managed to get it away from danger. Well, it's a good delivery. Who gets the header in? It's John Stones that gets the header in. Straight at Ramsdale. You expect him to save that. Stones with a free, well, not free header, but one that he could easily get his head to. Poor marking by Partey. Manchester City poised to make a double change. I think the City fans will be delighted to see Kevin De Bruyne. Cole Palmer, the other one, poised to enter the action. We're hearing it, it's Kovacic and Haaland, the players coming off. Kovacic has been excellent. Haaland not quite so good. Yeah, the wait for a Wembley goal for Haaland will go on unless he can nab one in the next few seconds. Here's Saka for Arsenal. Rice. Beautifully weighted ball for Martinelli. Oh, and the eventual shot from Rice is well over. Not quite been the dominant force we've seen at West Ham and, and England. Declan Rice so far in the game. What a decent game. So that's it for Haaland today. And Cole Palmer, who was a huge influence for the England under 21 side when they won the the UEFA Under-21 Championship this summer. And a goal and two assists. Off goes Kovacic, his debut comes to an end and De Bruyne is on. As he looks to build up to full fitness, remember, 10 goals and 28 assists from De Bruyne last season. No changes yet made by Mikel Arteta, perhaps tells you how he's feeling about this performance. De Bruyne for Manchester City. He's rolled that into Foden, beautifully done, Palmer! Deflected over. That's the best we've seen from City in the second half. No surprise, as soon as Kevin De Bruyne comes on, you get more penetrative passes. Ends up with Palmer, comes off the near timber. I'm not sure that was going to trouble Ramsdale. It looked to be straight at him. But it was a really incisive pass. The first one from Kevin De Bruyne. That's a fabulous turn by Foden. Oh, ricochet benefits City ultimately. There's the chance. Oh, it's a fabulous goal. Cole Palmer. What a beautiful strike. And Manchester City surge into the lead at Wembley. Well, this all comes about because of the turn by Phil Foden in midfield. Those two players, Kevin De Bruyne and Phil Foden, have just given Man City a better attacking edge. Here's the turn. Gets away from the press, and now the game's all opened up. He doesn't find quite the right pass. See Declan Rice coming across, almost gets a block. Tierney doesn't do quite what he was supposed to do. And then Cole Palmer with a lovely finish. How many times did we see the likes of Riyad Mahrez do that? He's no longer at the club, but Cole Palmer, left-footed on the right-hand side, bends it round Gabriel. And Ramsdale just can't get a big enough jump in. Wonderful moment for the youngster. Well, he scored just one goal in the whole of last season. Cole Palmer was in the FA Cup quarter-final in March against Burnley. He's notched his first goal in the very first match of this season. And it's a beauty. White. Stones brings it away, but Odegaard collects. And can he get the through ball right here? Nearly. If anyone could for Arsenal, he could. That's come off White, and it falls for Alvarez. Bearing down on goal for Manchester City. Foden! Whisker away from settling the contest. It got a deflection for a corner. Well, White makes a bit of a mess of it here. Alvarez does well. He looks like he's going to surge into the box. 
Foden was onside. First touch is good, and although Ramsdale's going the wrong way here, actually almost goes between his legs, hits him on the foot. Very unlucky for Phil Foden, but it goes down as a good save from Ramsdale. Off the instep and behind for a corner. De Bruyne takes. Oh, another good save! Well, Rodri on the near post sneaked into that position completely unseen. Another good delivery from Kevin De Bruyne. Really good header, you have to say. A decent save. We're in the 100th minute of the Community Shield. Partey, Odegaard, Smith Rowe. On it goes for White. Behind it goes by Foden for a corner. Well, it should have been a little bit more. White took too long to get the cross in there. And the big players from Arsenal get ahead on this. No Gabriel now. He's off the field. Saliba, White. Partey is in there. No habits. Well, this could be the last chance for Arsenal. Corner from Saka. And another chance, perhaps, to put it in here. Leaves it instead for Trossard. Deflected it in! There's the equaliser for Arsenal! In the 101st minute of the Community Shield. Ortega beaten by the cruel deflection. And it's surely going to penalties now. First cross was dealt with by Ortega. Actually by Rodri at the near post. And when it comes to Trossard, he goes past the first challenge. And it comes off Akanji. It's probably going wide, so maybe an own goal here for Akanji. I think he sliced it slightly off the outside of his boot. I'm not sure that was on target. And Ortega went down a little bit too early. What a finish to the game. There's the deflection. Well, it's the luckless Akanji who deflected it past his own goalkeeper. And you see the reaction of Arteta. There is full time. It's all square in the Community Shield. And it will be decided via a penalty shootout. Arsenal left it late. But the deflected strike from Trossard off Manuel Akanji was enough to secure a draw for the Gunners after Cole Palmer's beauty had given Manchester City the advantage in the 76th minute of the game. And after all that, it'll be decided from 12 yards via a penalty shootout. Full time at Wembley Stadium, Arsenal 1, Manchester City 1. Here we go then. First up, Martin Odegaard. Can the Arsenal captain get the Gunners off to the perfect start? No problem. He runs around it, just passes it into the corner. Ortega going the wrong way. Nice start for Arsenal. And a warm welcome for Kevin De Bruyne as he steps forward for Manchester City. Made a real impact when he came on for Belgium. De Bruyne against Ramsdale. Oh, he smashed the frame of the goal. Advantage, Arsenal. Well, they just got underneath it. Ramsdale clapping his hands, goes the wrong way, but as he looks back here, he just sees it hit the crossbar. Well, it's only half a ball's width away, but enough. Next up. A chance for Trossard to make it 2-0 to Arsenal in the shootout. A chance he takes. Very calm, very cool, good penalty. Nothing fancy about it, just a couple of strides. He passes it into the corner. Next up, Bernardo Silva for Manchester City. And they have notched. Made that look very easy indeed. Well, there's been a lot of talk about Bernardo Silva leaving Man City.
Other clubs interested in him, just like Erdegaard and Trossard. Sends the goalkeeper the wrong way and just passes it in the corner. And here's a man that's certainly missed a few penalties or missed a couple of important ones. Missed in a pre-season game against Manchester United. He missed his last one against West Ham in April, Saka. Doesn't miss this, rolls it in beautifully to make it 3-1 to Arsenal. At the moment, the two goalkeepers dived the wrong way on every one. <laughs> Only gone the right way, it's not a particularly good strike from Saka, but good enough. Now, Rodri can ill afford to miss, given the state of play. And the save by Ramsdale! Arsenal on the brink! Well, the first time a goalkeeper goes the right way, he makes the save, he goes early. It's a poor penalty from Rodri. Almost dives over it, Ramsdale. So the opportunity falls to Fabio Vieira. If he scores, that's good enough for Arsenal. But he did miss in pre-season. Fabio Vieira to win the Community Shield for the Gunners. Emphatic! Arsenal win the Community Shield for the 17th time. Manchester City have thrown it away. They've lost their third shield in a row. Oh, what a confident penalty that was from 23-year-old Fabio Vieira. Four out of four in the shootout for Arsenal. And the first bit of silverware of the season goes the way of Arsenal. It's the first silverware of the new season. The FA Community Shield winners 2023 are Arsenal. Congratulations to the Gunners. Will there be more silverware to come this season? For now, they can enjoy this. They lift the FA Community Shield. What a dramatic finale at Wembley. Leandro Trossard's 101st minute equaliser, the turning point in the 101st Community Shield. Congratulations to Arsenal, who claim the first silverware of the season. We'll see you next time. This red inside of me that I just can't wait to unleash. Hey, hey. I'm invisible, hey. I'm a sufferable, I'm a lion from the table.